you today. What is that pop-up? Oh, a grand prize giveaway? I'm not lucky enough. All right. I am here today with a gift from Diamond Art Gift to share with you. Visually only because it would just be too hard to split it. Anyway, trying to be funny. I know. It's corny. I'm sorry. I apologize. First off, let's take a look at this most adorable cover minder that I got. I don't I usually don't pay a whole lot of attention to the cover minders on the sites because I don't use them all that much. And I have a lot of them anyway. But when I saw this little dude with his little happy horn, I just had to have him. And he is a standard little cover minder with two magnets on the back, just like it's supposed to be, to hold your cover in place while you work. So if you use, like if you have, I guess I would use one on the small, like smaller canvases. If you pull back your film, then you would put your cover minder one magnet in the back and then the cute part in the front and then it holds the cover in place so it doesn't fly back. Like if you have a ceiling fan on, that way it doesn't fall back over onto where you're working. It keeps that image, that area exposed. And he came in a really cute little box, his own little box. So cute. All right, that's that. Sorry, I, my eyes have been itching like crazy. It's driving me nuts. And I guess it's allergies, because if you listen to my voice, it likes to go in and out. <clears throat> and doing that doesn't help, as you can hear. Anyway, here's the first canvas. Beautiful stained glass dragonfly. I'm going to sound like a dragon. Anyway, isn't it pretty with the dahlia and a little sunflower? I have ice in my mouth now. Swallow that down. It looks like grapevines, maybe? I don't know. It doesn't really matter, but I just, I really like it. This would be really pretty in rhinestones. But unfortunately, it came with regular drills in the awful tiny bags. I really dislike these bags. But I may swap this out for rhinestones because I think it would just be so much prettier done in rhinestones. But it does have... Um, it does have 20 colors. All of the DMC numbers are there on the canvas where it is easier to have them. You can see how nice of a canvas it is. Sorry for my shaky hands. I got those stupid trimmers that never go away. Seem to get worse throughout the day. But it is a very nice, very nice piece. Let me write on here. I've been writing on the canvases. Where they come from. Sorry, I couldn't write and <laughs> couldn't spell and talk at the same time. And um, I'm going to put on here change to rhinestone. Just so I remember when it comes that time that I wanted to make this a rhinestone. Okay, so there's our first one. We got our standard toolkit with that, and standard toolkit with the second. And the second one. is another stained glass. I couldn't resist. So we've got the cross with a bow on it, which is a little, not sure why there's a bow on it, but that's okay. It's still pretty. With the sunset. 
And there's like some grass or something coming up back here. There's two drills up here that are that same color. So it's kind of strange. But it's just the way they've done it. You can always ignore those two if I don't like how it looks. But this is really, really cute. 21 colors on this one. DMC numbers right where they should be. And you can see it is a nice clear canvas. A light pad would definitely help out with this one since it's quite dark. A lot of black on it. I was thinking about rhinestones on this one too, but I don't think it would be quite as spectacular as the dragonfly would be because there would still be a lot of black on this one. It's a very, not flimsy, I don't want to say flimsy. Soft, that's what I want to say, that's what I want to say. Now the reason I'm writing um, the name of the company on my canvases is I'm taking longer. When I first started cataloging, well, when I first started, I cataloged all of my canvases. I still do. And I used to do it after every video. Well, that was when I did one video a day or every couple days. So some days I do two or three videos in one day. So I quit cataloging after each filming. So now I'm, I get piles of canvases before I actually fill out my index cards. So I decided to start writing the name of the company on the canvas because it's easier for me instead of having to dig through my binder here that I have my notebook here that I have with all of my orders written down. Because I have a, a slight... Um, Hello, word, please come back. Description of like that was stained glass cross from Diamond Art Gift. So I have to make sure I'm a little bit more precise with my descriptions and I haven't been all the time. So if I write the name of the company on my canvas, it just makes things easier for me. So started, tried to start doing that either during the video or right after the video. All right, and that, I rambled on way too long, I apologize. Okay, so we have our standard toolkit again. I'm really excited about these. Have this again. It's a whole bunch. The drills, we have black. Three bags of black. We have two shades of orange and some yellow and white. So those are the drills. And these, I did not get these to use as coasters. I got these for art projects and possibly cards. So we have a bunch of different monarchs. Actually, I take that back. That might not be... Is that the same? Oh no, yeah, that is some yellow. Never mind. There are five colors. So there's that one. They're all just a tad different. But I thought these would make really cool um, either put some of the blue tack on the back and stick them to the wall, like in a cute pattern, or um, as the centerpiece of a card with a magnet on the back, and they can remove it from the card and put the magnet somewhere. Or they could even be just little gifts with magnets on the back. Because there's so many of them. And last of all is this one. So this one 
These would be really cool on a wall facing each other. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So that's it. That's our, our haul from Diamond Art Gift. Plus, these are kind of tricky to get back in the... You have to turn them all different ways to get them to go into the holder. But still, I don't, I don't know. I just, I don't like them as coasters. I like them as art pieces, individual art pieces. And that's, if you've been watching for a while, that's pretty much what I do, if I've mentioned with the others, like the, the hexagon ones, I want to frame those. And there was another set that I was going to use as card faces, it too. I can't remember now. But anyway, that's what I have for you for today. Quick and sweet and to the point so you can get back to your own diamond painting. And I want to thank you for your support. Hi, Bubba. I thought I saw a shadow walk by, but it wasn't a shadow, was it? My good boy, I love you. He's becoming much more loving in his aging. <laughs> I don't want to say old age because he's only four, but he has definitely become more loving and he'll, he'll come up to me and want me to scratch his back. He still won't sleep with me, but he's my good boy. I don't think he sleeps with me because Anna does. And Anna probably says, nobody but me, right, Bubba? She bratty. <laughs> I can't pet you on your back over there. All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you for your support. Thank you for being here. Please subscribe if you haven't. Click the like button and definitely leave me a comment. Um, I love reading your comments and I always try to respond. If, they, uh, if you have a question, you can always leave me a question in comments. Um, I do read them all. I don't always respond to them all, but I do let know in your heart that I do read all of them. So I will see you again very, very soon. Thank you again. Love you.